joining me today for a tour of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada's National Office. My name is Katerina Gagne and normally I spend my time studying at the University of Western Ontario, but this summer I've been lucky enough to have an internship at the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. So today we're going to go on a little tour of the office, so if you want to come outside with me, we'll start the tour there. The really cool thing about this office building, which is located in Sarnia, Ontario, is that it's a non-profit shared services building. This means that rather than needing a large office building that houses our own boardrooms and other expensive facilities, we are able to participate in sharing services. Between several other nonprofit organizations, the Chris Dawson Foundation has collaborated to develop a building where small and large organizations can share everything they need, yet still have their own offices. And the more organizations that work out of this building, the more each nonprofit saves by paying less in rent, helping us to keep our costs minimal. What a brilliant idea! So let's check it out. Welcome to the Chris Dawson Center. Here we go. Welcome to the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Diane is our administrative assistant here at the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Diane, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you do here? Okay, well, what I do here is I answer phones and I uh, input all the donors' information into our system. Uh, I take care of anything that has to do anything with uh, the uh, uh, in memory of or in honor of uh, small events also and I do a little bit of everything. Let's head to Marsha Davidson's office. Marsha Davidson is the Executive Director of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Marsha, will you give us a little bit of the backstory of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada? It was created about uh, 21 years ago now when someone in this community lost their daughter to breast cancer. Uh, her name was Pam, and uh, Pam was only 38 when she passed away. She left behind a very loving family and two very young children. So from that legacy, we've grown. Um, the mandate has always been to raise uh, funds for breast cancer research because her family um, didn't want um, anybody else to have to go through what Pam went through in her journey with breast cancer. So over the years, we've grown and grown, and we focus solely on raising funds for what is called translational breast cancer research. Um, to explain translational research, um, I'll just um, explain it in a way that uh, hopefully everybody will understand, but basically it's where the researchers collaborate very, very closely with the diagnostic physicians and the oncologists that look after the treatment of the patients. That way we can bring the new ideas to the patient much quicker and we can um, find a solution for this disease that affects so many people. Currently, one in nine women will experience breast cancer uh, in Canada in their lifetime, and that statistic is way too high. Far too many people are experiencing the disease, and we're trying to make something, uh, we're trying to make a difference and improve that uh, statistic. Um, the treatments are getting better, the mortality rates are dropping drastically, so more people are surviving. But still, the journey is not pleasant, and there's still more work to be done. So we appreciate any interest, any support that anybody may have. Thanks for coming today. Now we're here with the lovely Dawn Hamilton. She is the Fund Development Coordinator of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Dawn, will you let us know what that means? Hi, Katerina. Thanks for the introduction. As the Fund Development Coordinator, I work with both corporate, corporate partners and third-party event organizers, which are two large revenue streams for the Breast Cancer Society. We're heading into a busy time of year here at the Breast Cancer Society where corporate partners are launching new products and services as well as many annual events take place in the fall. is Joanne Deschamps' office and she's the volunteer coordinator of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Volunteers play an important role in the success of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. As a grassroots organization we have we are strong believers in a one-on-one -on -one approach with each donor, supporter and corporate partner. We are able to support this philosophy through the many dedicated volunteers that we call bosom buddies across Canada. They enable us to be in many places at once. What about our local volunteers? Here at the office, we have many volunteers who come in and keep us organized. We don't know what we would do without them. They're awesome. In fact, I think I hear some voices in the back room. Let's go see who's here and what they're up to. 
Hello, my name is Kayanne, and I've been a volunteer at the Breast Cancer Society for the last three years, and we're putting together packages for a third party event. Hi, I'm Linda, and I've been volunteering with the Breast Cancer Society for five years now. Hi, my name is Barb, and I'm a breast cancer survivor of 25 years and uh, a volunteer with the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Those are some very dedicated ladies that we couldn't do without them. Now let's check out Bunny Coughlin's office. Bunny Coughlin is the operations officer of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. What does the operations officer here do, Bunny? As the operations officer here, I am the bookkeeper and the IT coordinator all rolled into one. I am also the project manager for Dress for the Cause this year. Dress for the Cause is our most pro profitable and biggest event at the Breast Cancer Society of Canada. Businesses register online and raise funds for the Breast Cancer Society of Canada for breast cancer research across Canada. That's all for now. Thanks so much for joining us on this tour of the Breast Cancer Society of Canada's office. We hope this gives you a little bit of an insight as to how we leverage your donation to create a maximum impact in the world of breast cancer awareness and research. Bye! Bye. 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 For more information, visit the Breast Cancer Society of Canada on Facebook or at BCSC Tweet on Twitter. And subscribe to our e-news or check out where your donation dollars go at bcsc.ca.